Welcome to fifth grade. I am Sarah Ingram, one of the fifth grade teachers here at Helmwood Heights, and I want to give you a quick review or a quick preview of all of the tools that we use for Panther Online Learners. Panther Online Learning is what happens here at Helmwood. It's how we do our non-instructional, non-traditional instruction here at Helmwood. Everything that we do takes place in a couple of places. It takes place mainly on Google Classroom, which is the site that houses all of our lessons, our online streaming links, and it also has all of the assignments that students will complete. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the Google Classroom, and I will show you how to access all of the important tools that your child needs to be successful and stay on track here at Helmut. So why don't you come along with me as I show you. One of the places that can be very important for you before going into Google Classroom is our fifth grade class website. To access that, you can visit the link that we send to you or that we have shared through uh, Class Dojo. If you do not have that, I am more than glad to share that with you. This website actually has all the information on how to use these tools. So if you forget anything at any time, you can go back and simply look at it right here. Uh, I would like to show you what your child sees whenever they come to Google Classroom. On Google Classroom, you are going to first find the stream. The stream has comments, just like in a news feed on social media, of comments from teachers telling your student or your child a reminder of what to do. The stream was updated right now. So right now, somebody, one of the teachers, just sent a link out. Um, kids get notifications on their email every time a post is made. Right here in this section, students can see any upcoming assignments that are due. And right here at the top, beneath the title, you will always find the link to our Google Meet. This is our main link for our Meet. We refer to it at times as the main Meet our main Google Meet, where live instruction happens all day here in class. Under the Classwork tab, you are going to find, or your child will find, all of the different assignments and the lessons and the activities that we want for your child to, to do. Right here we have, at this in this section at the top, computer's freezing up a little bit, this section is usually at the top. It's called important information. The important information section houses your student's planner, which is your digital agenda. It also has a place with morning meeting information. School starts every day at 745. Students are encouraged to attend these first 15 minutes of the day where teachers get to just build a relationship with them and have fun by doing a joke of the day, some trivia, a quote of the day, and even a morning jam. Morning jam is a prompt where kids get to share a few of their favorite things, which allows for us to learn more about them. This also has that link to the website that I told you about, as well as a direct link to students' email, their Infinite Campus student portal, and the different tools that we use during the morning for reading and math sites. These are a couple of the important tools that we use in fifth grade. Everything is always updated on here, so this is current. Uh, the most important tool that the fifth grader has to stay organized is their student planner. The student planner is the place that has each day's tasks to be completed. At the end of the day, we always post all of the links to the videos of the live instruction that we have given. So if your child misses out on class one day for any reason, they can always come back and visit that video and check the instruction of the day. This is very helpful if your child did not attend class or also if your child did not understand something or got to class late, they can go back and visit that video. On the student planner, you can see a monthly calendar that has different things like due dates or something like the progress reports date and when Christmas break starts and Christmas Eve. Uh, if you go, down below that, each week is updated by your teachers on a daily basis. It also has different reminders, like for ch children to check their email, their infinite campus, and view their daily work. 
It also has a reminder for them to get in 745 on Google Meet for our morning meetings. Each day is labeled right here on this side, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Every day of the week is updated with a live instruction under each assignment. If you click on any of these blue underlined words for each class, it takes students straight to Google Classroom to the assignment that has the pre-recorded lesson or the live recorded lesson, as well as any materials that will be used in class. We update this, so this is a live document. Students have access to it always. This has all of the tools they kind of need to be successful. So the student planner really and truly is important for your child to look at every day. All of the links, all of the tasks, everything that we do where we grade and give your child feedback is here in Google Classroom. So it's important they become familiar with this site and they visit it constantly. If they go right here to view work, this section on view work is actually going to be very important for your kid to stay organized. If you go under view work, under the tab called classwork, your child will be able to display a detailed list that's specific to them with all of their current work that's either missing, has been assigned to them, has been turned in or graded. Uh, let me show you a little bit more about that. So right here, this student's list of assignments is showing that this was assigned to them. It's not quite due yet. It also has the due dates right here in the middle and it tells you what subject it belongs to. If a child is ever missing anything, a word called missing will show up right here and it will be in red right here in this last column. It also updates students with their grade. So Student Planner and Google Classroom are the two very important tools that your child has to become familiar with. Uh, along with that, your child needs to make sure that they check Infinite Campus on a daily basis. That is where their final grade is going to be updated. You also have access to this website, so make sure if you do not have an Infinite Campus account that you get one as soon as you can. Infinite Campus is where you see your child's grade that is current to the moment. So if you ever want to know what grades they have, that is your best friend to find out how. Students also have a student account that they can check themselves, which we encourage them daily to do so. Another thing that you have to make sure that you're connected on is Class Dojo. Class Dojo, you should know by now, is the place where we update you, the parent, with all the different school news, such as events, when grades are updated, or simply where we communicate to let you know how well your child is doing. Students are encouraged every day to check their email, their Infinite Campus, and their student planner. So if you ever want to ask your child how they're doing or you want to help or you're checking on them, you should see them on one of these three for sure. And of course, Google Classroom. I am so glad that you are here. I am so glad that we are a part of your team. We are doing what we believe is best for kids with what's within our power to do. If you ever need our help, do not hesitate to contact us through Class Dojo or email. We are here because of you and because we believe in each one of the kids in our class. So that we hope that this video has been informational and helpful to you. My name is Ms. Ingram, and I hope that um, if you ever need anything, you truly do not hesitate to just talk to us and we will try to do the best we can as soon as we can to make sure that we are doing whatever we can and in a certain power for your child to learn. Thank you so much for trusting us. We hope that you have a great day and go Panthers. Thank you.